Hi guys! So, I am creating some more resin stuff. <laughs> um, for New Year's I just thought I'd do a lot more resin, but I'm still doing a lot of the paintings, so I'll have those coming up as well. And since Valentine's Day will be coming up in February, I thought I would try... I got these molds on Amazon. I'll have links in the description if you're interested. And I'm going to try and do um, Ocean Wave in this heart shape one. So I thought I could do these as hot plates. Um, so I'm still using the Stone Coat Countertops Resin because it is heat resistant. Um, I have had people mentioning that there's art coat as well that they've used and different other resins so that's awesome. There's a few options out there for you guys. Um, so I got uh, this pack came with a heart, a circle, um, it came with a big square one and it also came with a tiny circle. So, you know, there's a few options there um, for trying out. So I'm going to try and do this. Not too sure if this will work out, but if it doesn't, it's okay. <laughs> Makes for you guys know. And I'm just going to try it a bit differently. Um, usually when people are doing the ocean wave ones, they're pouring the resin into, let's say, like a coaster that has edges already. So... With trying to get the wave effect, I'm not sure, because it's going to, once you take it out, you actually want the bottom is your top, so it could be a little different. That's why I think I'm going to pour a very thin layer to start with, to just get the wave. And then I'm going to pour, let that dry, and then I'm going to pour another layer with blue, and just kind of layer it, and see how this effect is going to work. It came up in my head, so we'll see. <laughs> um... So, but if you're thinking for Valentine's Day gift or something, that these ones have a heart uh, shape, which I thought was kind of cool. Or, you know, you can just go with a circle or the square, too. So I mixed up four ounces of resin already. Um, just trying to let the bubbles work its way to the top. Because <laughs> I had a lot of bubbles in it. And I have a little cup, because i got to mix up some white. Um, for tinting my resin, I've been using uh, Art Resin Tint. So I'll show you guys the box. Um, so it's just Art Resin Tint. This one is the Originals, which comes with all the different colors. Uh, there's a metallic one and a neon one. So I've been trying to mix this white. It does look like it's got a little bit of yellow, but that might be because it's been sitting for a long time. <laughs> and I'm thinking that the paint just hasn't had a... Oh, I can hear the ball coming out. So you got to shake them really good. <laughs> but uh, the paint was all kind of sticking to the bottom. Now you can use acrylic paint to tint your resin as well. Um... I wouldn't put too much acrylic paint to resin just so it doesn't get gummy if you put too much of the paint in. So you can probably hear me trying to mix it. So if you let them sit for a long time, you do have to mix them really, really good. And what I'm going to do, so I, I'm going to leave some clear and some white. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of white resin so I'm not I'm just gonna guesstimate for the white I guess I can always add more in there okay so I need a little popsicle stick I am kinda worried because it does look like there's I don't know some kinda yellow to my white. <laughs> so I'm going to put some out a bit on this paper towel just to maybe get that. There we go. That looks white. Just to make sure. Let's stick some in there. Mix 
it up. I should let you know that I did create a few more coasters and I'm finding that when I tint them with uh, with the colors I'll go grab one of them just so you guys can see so this is obviously everybody's resin arch nemesis so I had done this tinted blue one um, but there is a bubble right there that happened and of course because the resin was tinted I couldn't see it so there's also um, oh, that's just there's a few inside here as well because um, I have this idea that I want to do so I'm still gonna work with it with this doing some vinyl on here but I just wanted to let you guys know that's why I got a pressure pot um, it's still on its way <laughs> Um, but I got it so that that is the best way to get rid of bubbles with resin. So you don't have to worry about it if the resin is tinted and you can't see the bubbles. Um, the pressure pot will get rid of them, which is kind of nice. So I'm just checking. This white is looking pretty good so far. I wonder if I should just... Oh, it's pretty opaque. So, comes in a lot of colors. And so my plan is, is to put some white, so a very thin layer. So I'm going to see if this is going to work, but for the ocean wave, might have the ocean waves coming up to the top here and deep blue down to the bottom of the heart, I'm thinking. Because I want them to show up Put a few layers here I want them because I'm gonna when I take the mold out this bottom part is gonna be the top so that's why it's gonna be a little bit different I'm just going to see if this is going to work with blowing the resin around. And once again, I am working on my lowly Vifi mat, which is a silicone mat. So it's perfect for perfect for resin, perfect for acrylic painting, just any kind of crafts really because it protects your workspace and when the resins dry it just really peels right off <laughs> which is pretty awesome so I don't want this resin layer to be very thick so I'm just gonna spread the resin out quite honestly might need a little bit more at the back here. And I do have my heat gun. So to blow the resin around. <laughs> Wasn't too sure how that was going to work. But because uh, the white is kind of underneath. I'm going to use this one. To kind of move my white resin on the bottom around a bit. I see my white resin has kind of disappeared a little bit. I'm just going to add some more in. And the reason I just didn't want it super thick was because I wanted it to show up on the top layer. So I see I got some stuff in here. <laughs> okay, let's try. I'm going to try blowing it around again. Okay, I'm not quite getting the lacing that I like, but... <laughs> 
this is good because this is me trying it out so you guys kind of know as well when you do it because you know not every single time does everything work out perfectly so because what I really wanted was hopefully for it to be more of a lacing effect underneath but I don't think I'm going to get that with the way I'm doing it now it works okay when it's on top to blow it around but not so much trying to see it from the bottom but I think it'll still look pretty cool so I'm still gonna work with it maybe just move that white around in a thin layer Kind of like a turbulent wave. This way you know that this way of doing it might not work so good. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Because I have this white. It might turn out okay. I'll wait and see though. So that is the first layer. And I think I'm going to give it a quick torch. Even though we just blew it with some hot air, I can see some bubbles. So the torch just helps to pop these uh, resin bubbles. There we go. Because the next layer after this dries, I wanted to do with blue. And then a deep blue, kind of fading into the light blue. So, it be interesting to see how this will work. That's the heart one. I'm going to probably, let's see. See if I can, I don't know if I can move it. That's why I put it on this board so that uh, I leveled it. <laughs> then I can keep experimenting. should see that you guys can see that. Ah, uh, yes. So this is the big square one, because I still have quite a bit of resin left, so I'm going to try it again. Okay, so these have hardened, um, and I've mixed up some more resin. I'm going to do some blue and some white. So this I'm going to make with a little bit of blue. And then this one I'm going to do with some of the white. to make the next layer of leaves. Le waves. Leaves. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab a couple of popsicle sticks. And thank you everybody who's uh, commented to let me know why my mold stuck to my resin. Um, obviously I overheated it with the torch. Um, but you know what, you gotta, you know, try things out and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. <laughs> We're not perfect, so, but I greatly appreciate everybody, um, giving out great tips and stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna definitely try not to. I might have wrecked these molds already because I did, um, these as well at the same time as I did the Northern Lights one. So, I did use a torch quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure if the heat gun would... Well, actually, I used a heat gun a lot on these, but I'm not sure if it would be any better. So, we'll see. 
We'll see if it sticks or not. Um, either way, I will be trying to get less of the silicone mold with the heat. And that is also why I got the pressure pot, which I am trying to test out. So, should be good. Okay, I've got my color. I think that blue... I think I want to, mm, don't want to make it a little more turquoisey. I'm just going to open up my resin tint, see what we got. There's a green, brown, purple. I think I'm supposed to get an aqua, but I don't see it in here. So I'm just going to, what are these two? Oh, here's the turquoise. <laughs> All right, that is a pretty blue though. Cause I am going to do, maybe I won't do turquoise. This is a pretty like, reminds me of the ocean, Mexico or somewhere really hot. <laughs> Maldives maybe. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to use that blue, and then I have clear still, clear resin, and uh, this was the big square one. Um, this is the one I actually added a, a few drops of silicone in, which did not work to my favor, but I thought I'd give it a try anyways, just to see what would happen. I mean, we're experimenting here, so that's the whole point. <laughs> and I'm going to get my heat gun to move the paint around. All right, so I got my heat gun so that I can move paint around. And if you're wondering, um, I'll have links in the description, obviously, but even for the heat gun, it's on my Amazon store. There's a link in the description to my Amazon store. So if you guys want to check anything out, I make a small commission from it, but it's no extra charge to you and it helps me out greatly. So I greatly appreciate it. So, let's get pouring, guys. <laughs> Alright, this, should I make it a little darker? Oh, I'm going to add another layer on top. I still have quite a bit of room. So I'm going to go with the blue at the back. Like so. I'm going to go with some clear at the front. that and I'm doing these just in thin layers guys so I mean you can always do as many thin layers as you want until you reach the top of the mold I guess but you know okay now I'm gonna add the white Right there for the surf. I use the just to push it to the end there, so we get good coverage on all the sides. Now I am working backwards in doing this. Most people that do these ocean waves are work have a surface and they're pouring resin on top. So like a wooden surface, they pour the resin on like cheese. Um, cutting boards or coasters you would pour it on top. So it's kind of working backwards because we're doing it through a mold. So I'm not sure we're going to get the same effect, but I'm going to try it. Okay. I don't mind that. It's looking really pretty. That is pretty cool. So we got kind of uh, the waves are kind of going crashing in. It's not looking too bad. I think I'm gonna leave it dry and then do a final layer with some really dark blue at the bottom here. Um, 
and see how that's going to turn out with it. I was trying to blow some more blue up into this area. I might do a little bit, I mean it doesn't hurt to, you can always add a bit of resin. Because I was thinking maybe I should have done light blue up in here with the waves crashing. Kind of ended up moving around everywhere. <laughs> let's try some, let's try that. Well, that's kind of pretty. Remember, there's another layer with clear and white. I'm going to add a little bit to the back here. Thinking that's looking pretty good. We're going to see when I take it out of the mold, we'll see what it shows. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta do the square one. Um, definitely will not be adding silicone <laughs> to this one. I'm just gonna make sure you guys can see this square one. Because it is kind of big. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna move the heart one just out of the way. But I think it's going to work good. We'll see. <laughs> I might have to mix up a little bit more of this blue in order to cover the area. And I used this blue. Oops. Put a little bit more than I should, but that's okay. <laughs> Nice thing about art resin is you have a fairly long working time. You got like almost an hour. I got like 45 minutes or something, I think. So you can experiment. If you need to mix up more color, you have time to mix up more color. I'm liking that blue already. So this will be the second layer, and then obviously there'll be a third layer at the bottom that'll be the dark blue. All right, so let's go ahead. cool. I don't mind it. <laughs> I think it's pretty kind of cool. So as you can tell I haven't torched anything. Um, there are a few little microscopic bubbles. Nothing too huge. But I'm not going to torch. I'm just going to leave it and maybe the bubbles kind of add to it. We'll see. See what this could turn out on the flip side, reverse. Kind, kind of seems a little weird right now, but with all the layers, I'm hoping it'll look pretty cool on the other side. So this is just layering. Hopefully, it'll turn out really different. I could even use like a toothpick, or I just have a little piece of wire to like move really move those waves around. Alright guys, so my second layer on these have dried. I, uh, I just wanted to show you guys both of them. They're sitting under... This is a great way to reuse these. So, this is a cake pan lid. And you can see right through it. So I just wanted to show you how awesome reusing these are for plastic. And another great tip um, is that I had a little bit of extra clear resin um, when I did these that was left over. So it's always good to have yourself a bunch of pendants if you're going to make jewelry and stuff or something else ready. So that if you have extra resin, you can just pour... Um, your extra clear resin 
and these are all ready to go. So you don't really waste any resin if you have um, a bunch of these ready to go that need clear resin on them. So when you're doing your projects and you have a little bit extra, that's a good way to use it up. That's why I don't always mix the colors up. I keep going and going. Um, so I'm excited to see how these are going to turn out when I flip them over. I still have to do one more layer, guys, on these, so we're going to do that now. I'm going to mix up some resin, get set up, we're going to do the last coat, and then let it dry and show you the reveal. Okay, so I have my resin mixed up. Um, and these look pretty awesome, actually. I'm kind of liking how they're looking gonna move the heart out of the way um, gonna pour some in this cup I did actually go and buy some silicone cups to now try and be more environmentally friendly and stuff um, and get away from using the plastic cups all the time um, but they are stuck in the mail somewhere <laughs> so they haven't actually shown up yet uh, I ordered them a little while ago on Amazon, but I do have a link for them on my Amazon Crafty Gen store, so if you want to check it out. Um, and then I'm thinking once I use these silicone cups, there's small ones, there's big ones, I could pour my resin in, once it dries you just pop it out just like normal and then reuse the cup. So, but until they show up I'll just finish using up my plastic ones. So I'm going to pour a little bit into this cup and I'm going to mix up a dark uh, blue because I really want this to darken up so because it's like the depths of the ocean I guess so I'm going to put some blue in there and I already broke the lid to my art resin <laughs> oops I think I tightened it too much and then it totally busted but oh well um, so I'm going to just mix this up, see what we get. I might have to put quite a bit more of the blue in here because it's going to be fairly transparent. I'm going to add a little bit of black, maybe like one or two drops. Start When you're adding um, a really dark color, just start with one or two drops and see how it turns out. Um, less is more, they say, I guess. <laughs> so, that's turning out to be a nice deep blue. But I kind of want it to be more opaque, so I'm going to add a bunch more of my blue. So that it's not so see-through or transparent like this uh, blue was. So, and with this one, I'm not actually going to do any white with this layer because it's like the depth, so it's not the ocean waves crashing above. I think this whole layering is going to give it a 3D look that'll look pretty cool. So, just going to mix that up. That's looking like a nice deeper blue. I'm hoping that with it layered on, it won't be super transparent. Maybe one more. Oh, I broke the black one already too. <laughs> Man almighty. Oh well. A couple more drops of black maybe. Oh, that totally busted right off. <laughs> well, no sense putting that back on. I'm going to have to figure out... Maybe put a piece of tape. Might work. Just to seal the top of it so it doesn't dry out. Crazy. Those totally busted. All right. Oh, I like that. Now I'm still going to do kind of this transparent blue, but I'm going to pour it over the top area over there. So I'm going to pour a little bit into here. I'm keeping a little bit of clear resin because I don't know what I might have to mix up more of for the second one of the lighter blue or the dark blue. So, that cup lid is also busted. <laughs> All right. So 
So this is just the lighter blue that I'm going to pour over the front part. And then it's going to kind of bleed to the dark, just like it would in the ocean. That's looking pretty good. All right, so I'm going to pour, just seeing how much room I have. for resin to add. Okay, I'm just pushing it to the edges. It's naturally kind of just flowing backwards. Might just add this whole thing. Starting to come down. <laughs> you can probably hear my puppies. They're playing in the background. So if you hear some <laughs> kind of weird grunting, snarling, that's just my puppies playing. They're crazy. <laughs> All right, now for the deeper color at the back. Then you just make sure that it hits all the corners of the surface. So this is just kind of a two-part coloring. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make sure that gets there. <laughs> kind of try and do some blending right in the middle here. So it'll kind of <clears throat> show some blending into the lighter blue from the darker blue. But you can just move the color around, do some swirls, kind of make it look wavy. Eventually it'll all just kind of level itself out. I'm thinking that's looking pretty, pretty cool. <clears throat> that's going to be awesome. Obviously I have no idea what it's going to look like when we flip it over, but I'm thinking with the layers it's going to be really pretty. So for like an ocean wave kind of theme. Now if you wanted, like in the beginning layers you could have had shells and stuff, but I'm just trying to get the wave for right now. And because of all your great tips, I'm going to use the heat gun on these instead of the torch. <laughs> but let's do the heart first. Let's get it poured. Just gonna make sure you guys are in frame. There you are. <laughs> Alright. So just like this one, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna mix up a little bit extra of both of these colors. I think the white's really going to pop against these darker colors because the white will be on top because obviously molds are in reverse so the bottom is actually the top. So it's looking pretty good. And then you just pour it over. I'm going to use the whole thing. There we go. That was looking really pretty. I like it. I have a little bit of dark left and I have a little bit of room left in this square one at the top here. So I'm just going to add some of it in just to fill it up and use up all that resin. All right, so I'm just going to use the heat gun instead of the torch to get some of the bubbles because as many of you have mentioned, it melts the silicone on the side if we use the torch. So, 
And you can adjust the different levels of heat on your heat gun for how hot you want it to go. But here I'm just going to get all the bubbles I can. The heat gun, if it's not super hot, not quite as efficient as the torch, uh, find. But what I could do is I could pull some of the bubbles away from the sides and kind of get them this way. And I might just run the torch in the middle, not near the silicone. They stopped. <laughs> so I'm going to wait till these dry um, and then it'll be the big mold reveal which will be a lot sooner for you guys than it will be for me because I have to wait. But uh, I'm going to cover them with my cake uh, reusable cake pan clear things and we'll come back for the demolding. Alright guys, so it is dry demolding day. <laughs> Super excited. Um, I peeled back a little bit to see how bad it was going to be. So I kind of burnt when I did the first layer I torched it way too much and I did end up the silicone is kind of sticking so it's not so bad on the next few layers but I did kind of wreck it on the top layer because I had done it kind of before and I shouldn't have. So I'm going to grab the exacto again. So I might have wrecked another mold. <laughs> but lessons learned. So do not torch your uh, your silicone or you're going to wreck your molds like I did. Sticking so bad. Ooh. Look at that, guys. Just going to make sure you guys are in the frame there. Because I was totally mangling it. <laughs> that is looking really pretty. I don't mind it. It's kind of a cool blue oceany hot plate so the thing with the molds for hot plates and stuff is that you're working in reverse where normally when they do the ocean waves it's on top so but I don't mind that one I like the depths and the layers in there it's kind of cool sweet and a bit transparent <laughs> okay Let's try this one. <laughs> Ugh. Just destroying mold after mold here. Okay. <laughs> I got it off. So, <laughs> that was some effort. This one is even a little bit darker. It's almost like a crazy sky there or something. I do like it though. It's kind of pretty. So you know you can use the heart uh, mold for a nice Valentine's Day gift since Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, definitely have some bubbles happening on the side. But I do like it. You can see the transparency a bit. Nice and shiny. And it's more wispy and cloud-like than it is ocean waves. But, you know, got to give it a try. This one turned out a little bit more like ocean waves. But I don't mind it. I think it's kind of pretty. What I could do too is I could have poured this um, as a dark blue to a light blue 
let it sit like the whole mold and then I could pour a layer on top to get the waves um, to get the lacing and stuff I'm gonna do some tests on lacing in resin so just so we could get that there's a bunch of different ways it seems um, that people are doing them so I'm gonna try a bunch of different ways but yeah that is my test for trying to do it in a mold the opposite way um, and that was the one I did for testing my pressure pot which I really like because there's absolutely zero bubbles so this is a small heart <laughs> that's the bigger heart it's still pretty so I would just want to say a huge thank you guys to everybody for subscribing to my channel, liking my videos, commenting. I hope you all are enjoying your craftiness and thank you for using my Amazon links. They uh, help me out a little bit and there's no extra cost to you so I greatly appreciate it guys. So thank you so much. More videos to come and I hope you guys have a fabulous time creating.